Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown here from GuitarLessons365.com and I've had a couple of requests for people from uh, certain viewers to explain what a capo is and how to use it and why people use it. So let's get into this real quick. It's a pretty simple concept. Uh, there are actually many things you can do with a capo but the main thing, reason that people use it is what we're going to talk about today. There are certain things that just can't be played without a capo. Um, it doesn't always mean that you have a lack of knowledge or, or whatever. Sometimes there are certain styles of music, a lot of country music. Um, uh, they use capos exclusively for specific techniques and specific sounds um, uh, that you can't get any other way. But let's talk about how the average guitar player would use it. Let's say we have our basic open position chords. I'm going to start here with an E major chord, and then a C major chord, and uh, let's do an A minor and then back to E. Alright, so we have a simple chord progression that could be in any song. So say you're writing a song and you're just plugging around with these four chords. So that's three chords actually, but so we have these three chords here, alright? And say they're pretty much, you know your open position chords, your basic chords, you don't have a lot of chord knowledge of the neck or you're not really comfortable with bar chords. Um, so what happens is this. Say you're writing a song and you write a nice melody but the melody is too low for your vocal range or too high or whatever. You basically, you need to move this to a different key. Uh, say you're writing it for a singer uh, and that would rather this, this key doesn't feel very comfortable to sing in. So that's usually when capos get brought in. So I got a little capo here, it's just a simple clamp. Um, capos are made in different ways, but you just kind of kind of create a vise across the neck. You place this anywhere you want. You take it and you just clamp it on the guitar. If you follow the instructions on your capo that come with it, it's, it's, a, it's pretty easy. This one's a very fast capo, it's just to clamp it on. And I'm going to clamp it there at the third fret. All right. So what happens now? Well, we can't play down here anymore, right? Because now we have this thing. It's almost like you're holding a bar with your first finger across the strings. But what this enables us to do is take those same chords that we were doing here that we had our song doing, the, the E, the C major, and the A minor, but we play them up here now. So basically the capo is now the open strings. It's the zero fret. And now this fret right here, which is actually the fourth fret on the guitar, is like the first fret. Now, so basically you just visualize those chords up here. So we went from there doing something that's in the key of E major, uh, pretty much was based around an E major chord, and uh, it would be considered E major, um, and we moved it up to G major because it went from the open string, that open E chord, when you move the capo up, now this note right there on the sixth string is a G. So when I play that chord off of it, we have that open string under it. Now it sounds like you're in G, but now if you didn't have a capo, in order to play that, you'd have to go like this. See, I got that E chord, I moved it up, but I'm doing, basically I'm replacing my first finger, the capo with my first finger. I have to play that E chord with these fingers, then the C chord with these fingers, then the A minor, and then back. So you, some people may feel that that's a little bit cumbersome, so they like to avoid that. And um, plus, a capo has its kind of own sound. It kind of has a sharper sound. It's almost like you have a an open string sound um, when you have the capo down. So anyway, those types of things are very valuable when you want to get any kind of change of key of a song to help your help your uh, your playing a little bit. Let me drop my capo. Sorry. All right. So now let's let's look at something else. Let's say we learned our basic scale here in this first position. We just went. That's a basic first position scale that you learn out of these little scale note reading books a lot. And it's just zero, one, three on the sixth string, zero, two, three on the fifth and fourth string, and then zero, two on the third then 0, 1, 3 on the 2nd and 1st string. 
Now that has an open string in it. So say that's the only scale form you know. Well, if you still want to play that, we'll say, let's put the capo now like the second fret. And we'll play the shape there, but now the capo is the open string. Now this is the first fret. So this is a zero, one, three. But now the key has changed. So it's a very easy way of switching keys without really having to learn anything else. All right, and um, some things may be a little bit cumbersome. Another thing that's literally impossible to do without a capo is playing stuff like this. So we take that same chords I did before, but when I went to that C, Now that had an interesting little chord shift. I took the C and then I moved it up two frets. So now you have fretted notes with an open strings in between. So that little shift right there where we had notes moving but the open strings stayed the same, well, you're not gonna be able to do that. I can't do that with if I replace, like I move the capo to the, uh, my finger here and I want to move it up three frets, I can't do that. I can't slide like that. It's impossible to do. So all you have to do is throw the capo on there. So this is what we're talking about. There are some things people use capos for that it's really impossible to do any other way. Okay, so I hope this clears up a little bit of confusion about what a capo does. It basically changes the register of the guitar, um, the tuning register. So the, if you have a, the pitches down here for the open strings, every time you change the, the fret that the capo is on, it basically changes the range of the guitar. Um, but everything stays the same. All of your chord shapes still work the exact same way. They just have to be moved up along with the capo. And you treat the capo like this little this little white thing. On most guitars, acoustic guitars, uh, it's white. Some guitars, it's black. This is called the nut. And basically what the capo is doing is it is replacing that and moving that up the neck, just like what you do when you play a bar chord. It just makes things a lot less cumbersome for a lot of players who they're just singer-songwriters or whatever, and they just don't have a big desire to, to play chords all over the neck. They just need the song to be changed in a different key. All right? So please go to guitarlessons365.com. Support the site. Let me know what lessons you want to see, just like this lesson. Some of the people wanted to know how a capo worked. Um, and I will do the best I can to get the lessons up as soon as possible. Okay? I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.